Um, let's talk anime history real quick. Because there is history that has happened in the past. Okay. Uh -huh. Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we look at things that happened this week in anime history. We have two items this week going all the way back to 1958. These are some older stories. And the release of Legend of the White Serpent, the first full-color animated film uh, released in Japan. Goes by many, many titles. Uh, but this is one of those films that uh, uh, fondly remembered. Um, definitely a landmark for uh, animation quality in anime, uh, considering it was less than 20 years after the end of World War II. The fact that they were able to produce a full-color animated film is darned impressive. Um, while still following the Disney mold. Also this week in anime history, a few years later, not that many, only five years later, we saw the premiere on October 20th of Gigantor, a.k.a. Tetujin 28 Go, the uh, first giant robot, or mecha anime series, technically. Um, Astro Boy was the first sort of uh, anime with a robot protagonist. Uh, but and there were there were mecha there were giant robots in that but uh, Gigantor is certainly the the main mecha in this uh, not piloted just remote controlled by a boy because as you know you can use a joystick and two buttons to control a giant robot and uh, that's how that worked and um, Gigantor is an interesting thing it's actually available streaming on Amazon Prime right now if I recall correctly you can actually go and watch some Gigantor and uh, get a feel for what that was like um, animations come a long way. That's all I'll say. Yeah. I I tried watching Gigantor. I was like, oh, it's on. I'll watch oh, this. Yeah. It's classic. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that was rough. Who can use that scene in, in that episode and <laughs> that episode and that episode? Wait a minute. All the episodes? Yeah. Everything's repeating again and again and again. And, and little Timmy is dealing out death with his joystick. Yep. Well, did they have it on Adult <laughs> Swim or Toonami or something? Because I remember running into mm. it late night and being like, wow, this yeah. is wow. And, yeah. and then like Cowboy Bebop came on. It's just like, oh, wow. <laughs> this, this, is, <laughs> this is visually very jarring. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember. Um... Do they have the voice actors on here? Um, because um, the voice acting for the American release, oh, who was it? Um, was it good, bad, different? It was somebody notable. Oh, they're not going to show it. Um, uh, let me just see. They're not being very helpful. Um, uh, the, no. It was Cary Grant. Yes. What? <laughs> like that. Um, what? the. Bella Lugosi at the low point of his career. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Ray Good. Owens? No, that can't be right. Good evening. I am Gigambo. <laughs> <laughs> ha. Um, okay. It, it was it was someone like Casey Kasem, um, Casey Kasem, who obviously did a lot of other you know did a lot of animation work. But it was someone who was like, yeah. that is clearly you know that person. Um, and he's playing like the police chief or somebody, somebody who was like in a lot of episodes. Um, gosh, I don't know, but you know, if you if you watch it, you'll recognize the voice. You'll be like, oh, you know, Fred Ladd. Fred Ladd. Um, yeah, I think it was Fred Lett. Okay, gotcha. No, 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 no. That's, oh, wrong. no, no, it's, it's the Great Gilder Sleeve. Um, That's it. Yeah. Um, That's it. Um, I'm not going to be able to do his voice. Um, the Great Gilder Sleeve. The Great Gilder Sleeve. Um, if you heard it, you'd recognize it. Um, it's a, a yeah. classic voice from like the 40s. Um, hey there, little chum. <laughs> Because um, that's that's the one I think of for the from the Bugs Bunny, 
where he's trying mm. to get out of the department store. Mm. And there's a dude who's got like he's the department store manager, and he's like, mm. "Where are you going, little chum?" I think that's like, him. Ah, I'm just trying to leave, boss. <laughs> and, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, boss, your your voice reminds me of the great Gildersleeves. That, what? Mm, that's Harold, P- Harold Peary. Is that it? Could be. Harold I'm Peary. Sure. You could oh. you could mention names and. I wouldn't recognize him, so. <laughs> I, 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 I'm pretty sure it was, was him. Um, but, yeah, I'll have to go back and, and watch it. But the yeah, the dubbing was doing its best. <laughs> it's best with what they had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also, obviously, this is a time when anime creators weren't thinking about domestic releases. So we'll make, it, we'll make the lip flaps <laughs> as fast as they need to be for the Japanese voices, and we're done. Yeah. Uh-huh. That'll work out. That'll work out great. Okay. Yeah. One of these days, I'll show you guys Kadocha, where the the main character is a uh, hyperactive twelve year old girl, um, and just speaks all of her line as fast as she possibly can in Japanese. Oh. Uh, and as you can imagine, it is just, you know, it's barely comprehensible in Japanese, and you know, it's like half of the uh, the. The, you know, the bottom half of the screen is the subtitles, you know, because it's just all oh, this being thrown out at you. And they dubbed it. They managed to dub it. Like, props to Laura Bailey. All right, little girl, I'm going to give you an injection, mainline you with Red Bull, <laughs> yeah. and uh, here's your script. Go. Yep. Well, that was my primary com- uh, complaint for TQ, mm. where it's, they're just, they're short series and it's just it's that rapid fire kind yeah. of stuff where it's just like mm-hmm. the jokes are just going and the, mm-hmm. and the characters are just spewing so quickly that it was on Crunchyroll but just the, I couldn't catch the, the subtitles yeah. it was just yeah. hauling ass and yeah. I'm like I don't I, was, what am I watching <laughs> yeah one of the problems with Kadocha <laughs> even worse is that she would often mispronounce things um, in the Japanese in ways that were Canadian humorous effect. yeah you know, yeah. yeah. Good luck. Um, yeah, it's it's not easy. Um, Dark Horse is reprinting um, Astro Boy Omnibus Volume One. That's awesome because um, Astro Boy has been kind of hard to find. Um, they did the the, yeah. the the little booklet sort of release, and then it kind of disappeared. Um, so I'd love to see more of that. Um, I have. A lot of volumes of that, um, but it's in the, the cheap old releases with, that are frankly already yellowing. So, Ooh. yeah, um, it's like newsprint release. So, not good. Yeah, I know. Invest in a nitrogen. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and when you put them in sealed, sealed, sealed in chamber, water, exactly. You put them in water, you'll get code. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> you buy the new ones, hopefully. <laughs> 